Hey guys, my name is Puspinder Sani. Once again, I came with a very interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how you can design custom card view inside the iOS with the help of Swift 5 programming language. So let's begin with the development. And here is the little example of a card view. Here I will give the shadow, how you can give the shadow, how you can make the radius. So much more thing we will do in this complete video. So watch the complete tutorial and understand the basic functionality of card view, how you can design and how you can integrate in your application. Okay. So guys, from here, I'm creating one fresh project called as name card view. Next, select location, click on create button and it will take some time and now your project in front of you okay so this is my main storyboard here i will create two different card view okay which include buttons and text so first of all i'm designing just normal view with the help of view and here is our view this is one and uh, i'm changing some color so it could be visible to us okay First, I will design this one. Here, I will take one text view or we can say label inside iOS. So, it's label and I will take one button over here. I will set the constraint first. I will set the constraint to my view and which will be 20 from top, 20 from left and 20 from right. And we can keep the height just leave it for now and this is my label to label I will give 10 10 from all the side so 10 10 10 and 10 from top right now finally the button same to the button I will give 20 from right 20 from left and 20 from bottom right so this is my first view okay now i will change the background color and increase the padding from top we can see 20 right 20 from bottom right and finally i'm going to change the background color of this button we can say green fine so this is my first view and label also i'm going to increase some font and width so it looks a little good. Now over here increase the size. We can say 32 and label welcome to the board. Okay. And this is I'm going to increase with 20. Right. So this is my label this is my button and button hint also we can say white okay so finally this is my first card view now second card view i will copy the same and this is my second card view i will set the constraint from top 50 right left same and from bottom not required so fine okay guys so i will create card view card view means some shadow and some corner radius okay so for that what i need to do i'll create one new group and called as uh, we can say utils here i'll create one new file which which will be my swift file okay Here I'll give that we can say card view. Now open your card view. The first thing is create as a class. Okay. So and this will be your designable class. So first of all, I'm going to import UI kit. And second thing, I be designable and called as class. Name as card view fine so this is my class and which will extend ui view okay so this is at all now the things is we have to define where we can say corner radius this will be radius 
equals we can say right now 5 okay now width of the shadow where we can say offset width equals 5 same for offset height equals 5 okay and finally we can say offs offset shadow what will be the space of the shadow okay and we can say offset shadow equals we can say space will be 5 and uh, finally where color we can say ui color dot system gray 6 or 4 or 5 whatever you would like to give now second thing we have to create one function which is a defined function and this will be override layout subviews and here will be layer dot corner radius equals self dot corner radius okay which we have passed from here now second thing and saying to change with float or we can say here float itself it will be cz float right right and this one this one fine layer dot shadow color equals self dot color uh, which is yes this one now shadow offset and before that we will take the cz color from this layer sorry layer dot shadow offset equals cz size and here we are going to pass width and height which we have take self dot uh, offset width and shadow uh, sorry self dot offset height okay now i will create layer path so it will be layer dot uh, shadow path and it will be type of ui bezel path and here we are going to pass few things okay rect what will be the rect here and this will be the corner radius which is self dot corner radius okay and rounded rect it will be your bounds and from here dot cz path okay guys now finally we have shadow layer dot shadow opacity and it will be offset shadow or we can rename this opacity okay and this will be here and i will make self so guys we can see the output now what it's saying that fix it will be type of float okay so make it float now go to your storyboard main storyboard and over here select on your view and go to class container assign class as card view it's building and once is built then we can see the output here you can see the output now second view so guys here you can see both view have same shadow but what if you would like to change the shadow on the basis of your design or you would like to change the corner radius on the basis of your design so how you can achieve that here you can see we don't have any property okay so for that what we have to do go to your card view and make it as at inspectable i be inspectable what are the property you have to inspect here if you make shadow color 
then this is also okay so here i have make two things inspectable one is corner radius and another is color so what i'm going to do again go to your main storyboard and over here click on your view card view and now you can see the property which is here okay now you can give your corner radius whatever you want let's say 20 give and click on enter now you can see here is your new radius and it is your old now from where you can change the shadow color so go to your container and here you can see one second go to your card view again i can try with my name my we can say color oh here i forgot to take ui color if you will not define the property then it will not be inspectable okay make sure you define the property whatever you are going to inspectable in your storyboard so go to your main storyboard and over here click on card view and here you can see the color now it is default now which color you would like to set for shadow so this is green and according to your requirement you can choose any color whatever you would like to give as shadow so guys i hope you are very clear about the card view if you have any doubt related to card view then please comment into the comment box and ask me your question because your comment really does matter for me thank you so much for watching that video and one more thing i would like to tell you that do not forget to subscribe this youtube channel because on my youtube channel you are going to find lots of video related to swift development like how you can refresh a table view how you can load more item inside the table view how you can design otp screen with listener how you can design mobile number screen how you can make attractive onboarding screen so many more videos you will find if i count all the video then it will become another day for me so guys subscribe my youtube channel and understand all the swift programming language concepts thank you so much have a great time bye bye